Hi gang, Woohoo here once again. Happy New Year, very belated everybody. Uh, came back, has been away for a little bit, and uh, now here to show you some of my uh, pickups over the last few months to close out 2023. So let's see what I wound up with. Let's start with this big old thing right here. A 1960 South African penny, pre-decimal penny that is. Got a little gunk on the front there, but overall can't beat that uh, uh, that shine. And let's see, some pre-decimal, uh, or excuse me, pre-euro uh, Netherlands stuff right here. One golden and two and a half golden from the 80s, 88 and 85 with uh, Queen Beatrix. Very cool. Uh, a lot of Colombian stuff here I've got coming here. Let me see if I can just gather them all up and do them in one fell swoop here. Here we go. 200 pesos from 2009 with a very interesting reverse. And then 500 pesos, two coins, 2008 on the right with the Arbol de Guacari. Guacari, the tree of Guacari, and then a newer design from 2014 with what appears to be some kind of tree frog. Rana de Cristal, the crystal frog, I guess. So, but very interesting uh, designs on all of these Colombian coins. I'm quite fond of these. Uh, let's see. Ah, here's another pre decimal something. One skillant. Shilling from Ireland, 1968. Not silver, and got some gunk on this side, but uh, figured the, the overall design was actually pretty nice that I decided to take a chance on it. So there we are. A couple of... Bi I, was, I was really into the bimetallic stuff uh, this time around. Now, this is interesting. 10,000 metikai on the left, and then 10 on the right, but if you look at the years, 2003 and 2006 from Mozambique, you figure there had to have been some kind of revaluation between the time these two coins were produced. I don't know, I just like animals on coins, and I like the rhino on the 10,000 better than I like the, the, the 10, this, whatever this building is. I have to do some more investigation on those. Let's see, ah, another bimetallic coin from Ecuador, some kind of 70-year uh, commemorative of Eugenio Espejo, 1,000 sucres, or mil sucres. The sucre was the currency of Ecuador for quite some time, and then I guess inflation rendered it rather obsolete, so they decided to replace it with the U.S. dollar. I met up with a friend of mine while in Houston, and... Uh, Got a, got a trade here. Copper nickel, United Arab Emirates coins. I have these two in a magnetic alloy, um, the 50 fills and the one durham. But this 25 durham, uh, or excuse me, 25 fills, uh, I do not have in any form whatsoever. So that was a neat little trade that uh, I got there. So that was... Very neat as well. What did we have here? 25 cents, I would imagine. Yep, from the Cayman Islands. Elizabeth II, 1999. With the ship on the front there. What else do we have here? I This was a mistake. Because as you can see, this is very clearly corroded and battered and beaten up. And uh, I did a, a ping test and thought it was silver. Then I looked it up and discovered that 10 milims, which uh, this coin is, uh, is most definitely not silver. So that was an oops on my part. This one I think I found in a coin star, 1999 10 centavos from Mexico. I think this is the currently circulating variety, even though it's the large type. Can't really buy a whole lot with that. You probably could buy a, a decent amount with this. 10 kroner, 1995, with Harold V of Norway. Circulated as all get out, but uh, figure if I 
end up going to Norway at some point, it could probably be decent pocket change. And speaking of decent pocket change, five bot. This is the new king of Thailand on this side, Rama the 10th. I think five bot is something like 15 cents. So it definitely qualifies as pocket change there. 20 rubles, 1992 from Russia, the newly minted Russian Federation at the time, having wrested itself from Soviet clutches. What do we have here? 50 fills from the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Jordanian coins actually, uh, the, the Jordanian currency actually does carry a decent amount of face value to it. Not that this coin is really worth all that much, but an interesting find, not a part of the world I get a lot of coins from. This was another oops on my part. Concilio di Stato, Quarto Sezione, from 1990, 200 lire from Italy. I think I bought this thinking that uh, I didn't have this 200 lira uh, commemorative, but I looked in my collection and it appears that I already do. Palazzo Spada on that side. And to wrap things up, one of the cooler bimetallic coins I found while in that coin shop, 100 uh, fills, I believe, from the state of Bahrain from 1992. They just held the World Darts Masters there earlier this year. So pretty cool coin there. So uh, overall, a pretty... Uh, Pretty good selection of stuff that I got. I think I think I overpaid for a, a good good chunk of this, but uh, it's you know we all make mistakes, especially since I had the two oopsies a little while ago that I didn't quite know what I had. Um, but anyway, uh, a, a very unique uh, selection of coins to start off this year, or at least wrap up 2023. And uh, I hope to do a little better next time around uh, when the next time I go to the shops. All right. Anyway, thought I'd share that and I'll see you all a little bit later on.